Hello everyone, how are you? How is the going? My name is Naomi, this is the Easy QS channel. We are on YouTube as Easy QS. And it's a channel where we learn how to estimate and cost buildings generally. So we mostly prepare students for exams and uh, we teach them the basic skills that are needed by quantity surveyors as they estimate the cost of buildings. In this series that we are starting today, we will be helping everyone, either in the construction industry or outside the construction industry. Maybe you're there and you are starting a project, a construction project, and you want really to be able to calculate for yourself the quantity of materials that you need at every stage. Okay, so in this series, we shall be able to be estimate the quantity of cement, the quantity of sand, quarry stones, darugo stones, everything, reinforcement, how many y eights you'll need for the rental, how much, uh, how many spaces you'll need, as in generally the quantity of materials that you will require to do your construction project. So we are beginning a series today whereby we shall be able to estimate the quantity of materials that we shall require to do a building. You know, as you, if you know the quantity of materials that you need, for example, you know, uh, I need 10 bags of cement. To get the cost of that, of cement for that building, it will just be 10 times the cost of one bag. I think that is easy. If you're able to know that you need three lorries of sand, which are, uh, each lorry should be nine tons each, you'll just call a um, distributor and ask them how much are you selling one lorry of sand which is nine tons then you shall not by three so uh, the basic principle of estimation and costing we have to know the material cost then we shall come to knowing the uh, labor cost how you shall be able to estimate the quantity of labor and how much it will cost you to do the labor then uh, what contractors do they take the material cost plus the labor cost plus any cost that maybe they will need to hire machines, that we call plant cost. Then, out of that, they add their own profit and overhead. So, uh, today, we'll be learning how to calculate the quantity of cement and the quantity of sand that we use during plastering. You all know plastering. Plastering is that finish that comes after walls, after the walls are built, so that we can be able to achieve, for example, in this wall, so that you can see this yellow wall, it is a wall, a, a masonry block wall that has been done plaster, then it has been painted. So we want to know, so that we could do this plaster, how many bags of cement were needed and how many, what, how, what is the quantity of sand that was used, alright? So this is, uh, out of these skills, anyone can be able to calculate for themselves the number of bags of cement and the number of uh, what is the volume of sand that you require to do plastering? If it's a big house, you will just require to find the total area of the walls in that house. Then you will use the procedure that I'm going to show you to know to calculate the number of bags of cement and the quantity of sand that you will require for plastering. So welcome so much for this to this video, and we shall begin. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly do that subscription. Kindly check subscribe, uh, switch on the notification bell because the series that we are bringing to you, surely it will be so helpful. We have been asked for it, uh, to how to do a shady of materials and that is what we'll be doing. So we hope that you'll keep tuned, be patient till the end and I'm sure you'll be able to acquire these skills that will help each and every one because you know, you see that fundi that you ask to calculate for you the materials that you need. That fundi has not been to a quantity savings class. He has not uh, watch this video. So he is just estimating out of experience what experience has taught him. But in class we uh, use the knowledge of quantity surveyors which they have acquired within a long time of a uh, time and it is based on experience and science. So it has been researched and it has been uh, the scientists have come to a conclusion that if you use this method uh, you will get almost an accurate a very accurate uh, quantities for example the quantity of cement that you'll calculate if you use uh, the ratio of cement in sand that we shall use you should not get a 
you should not get that you have bought a, a excess cements ama the cements are not enough or you have bought sand which is not enough or it is too much above you see these are losses that are coming to the construction because uh, maybe you bought sand and you didn't have enough money to buy cement so the sand remains and you don't have the money to buy cement so uh, that's why we estimate uh, quantities and costs is so that you can be able to balance this money can be enough to buy cement and sand so that uh, you do not go an extra mile to spend to buy extra cement while you have already bought sand in surplus. So where do you take the sand and you are, you are already doing the plastering and maybe that was the last part of using sand in your building. So that is why we do estimation and costing. So welcome to this class, okay? Alright, so in our class today, the area for the plastering, we shall consider an area of a hundred meters square. Maybe we had a wall. A wall, this wall was 10 meters by 10 meters okay so we want to know what is the quantity of cement and the quantity of sand we shall require to do plastering on this wall all right so if if, if, if it's a big building we we'll just find the total area of the walls then we shall use the procedure so for this video we shall consider this area 10 meters by 10 meters of wall so we want to know what is the quantity of cement and sand that we shall use in plastering so the thickness of plaster from the block to the if you come to do plastering here in this wall the thickness of that plaster is 12 millimeters from the stone to the surface that thickness 12 millimeters you can see this one is like 1.2 centimeters okay mix ratio for mortar the mortar that we shall use you know mortar is the mix between concrete cement and sand the mortar we shall use one ratio one is to four one cement and four one volume of cement goes with four volumes of sand all right so how do we calculate the volume of plaster in this wall volume is equal to area times the thickness so the the area here is 10 times 10 times the thickness of 12 millimeters okay this is in meters meters this is millimeters so 12 millimeters will be equal to 0 0.012 meters so what is the volume of plaster the volume of plaster will be a hundred times thickness 0 0.012 so you shall get 1.2 meter cubed all right so the total volume of plaster we shall use on this wall shall be 1.2 meter cubed so uh when you are doing plastering uh it's usually on a block wall we had just built the stones you see when you are building stones between the stones there are joints that we do mortar these joints are usually some sometimes they are depressed as in we have some depressions on the wall we need to bring this wall to the to uh, the same level so that when we do the plaster the level can be the same you see when we do plasters we expect we expect smooth walls or the level should be the same as in I it shouldn't be coming with with things that as not okay I'm at Kuna depressions it should be a straight wall same level so uh, to fill the depressions in the walls maybe even the stones have some depressions we will add a 20% volume on the volume that we shall need so 1.2 meter cubed plus 20 percent of 1.2 we shall get 1.2 plus 0.24 the total volume that we shall require is 1.44 meter cubed so that is the total volume of a uh, plastic mortar that we shall need something else to note when we are doing plastering or when we are using mortar the mix between cement and sand once the mix is done for cement and sand the total volume that we we get there we call it the dry volume once we add water we call that the wet volume so uh, the difference between the dry volume and the wet volume is that uh, the wet volume after adding cement sand and water that volume usually decreases than the dry ones because you remember when cement and sand are dry the, sp the volume is big because it has air spaces but when it's wet there are no air spaces so the 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 motor shrinks 
So, uh, this one that we have calculated, 1.44 meter cubed, is the weight volume of mortar. So that, you know, volume is, uh, for example, we have a container. Alright, we have a container like this one. Once we fill uh, mortar, so we say a mix of cement and sand in this, uh, in this container. The quantity, when it's full, that is the volume. Do you understand? Once we had put cement and sand here, then we added water, the cement and sand will shrink because there were air spaces and the water has made a cement to fit in the sand spaces. Do you understand? So uh, that one, we say that the dry volume is always more than the wet volume. So uh, after we ha we are, when we are doing plastering, uh, this volume that we require is the wet volume so that we can know what will be the quantity of dry volume because once we are buying cement and sand we shall buy them when they are dry we will not buy them when we are wet when they are wet so we will calculate what was the volume when they were dry okay let's continue so the total volume of us mortar is 1.44 meter cubed what was the volume for the dry volume so, the dry volume is usually equal to the wet volume times 1.35. Why? Because we assume the cement and sand will shrink by 35%. So, we will have to add the 35%. You see, uh, 1.44 times 1.35, it means 1.44 was the 100%. We are calculating for 135% of that. So, that we shall get 1.944 meter cubed the dry volume for the plaster all right so out of the dry volume we want now to know what will be the volume of uh cement and what will be the volume of sand in this volume so uh the cement sand ratio is one is to four one volume of cement with four volumes of sand so uh when we want to calculate uh, the, the total volume of cement what shall we do? We will take the total volume, then we shall take 1 over 5. You see, the total ratio is 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So the total volume of cement shall be 1 over 5 times the total dry volume. So 1.944 times 1 over 5. So we shall get 0 0.388 meter cubed. Now we have the volume of cement. When you are going to the hardware to buy cement, what do we buy? Bags of cement. What is a bag of cement? It is equal to 50 kg. So we shall have to calculate the mass of cement. How do we calculate mass of cement? Mass is equal to density times volume. So the density of volume is always 1440 kg per meter cubed. So how do we calculate the weight of cement? How about the mass of cement? We have said density times volume. We have the volume of cement that we have calculated here. We multiply by the density. So we shall get... 559.872 kilograms. So how many bags of cement are those? We shall take the total mass, we divide by 50. And we shall get 11.19. So when you're going to the hardware to buy cement, can you buy 11.19 bags? No. So you shall buy 12 bags of cement. Okay? Right. Let's go to sand. How do we know the quantity of sand? We shall go to still to the dry volume of the motor. We multiply by the ratio of sand over total ratio so uh, the dry volume of uh, mortar is 0 0.888 we multiply by 4 over 5 why 4 over 5 the ratio was 1 is to 4 so 4 over the total ratio 4 over 5 we get 1.5552 meter cube that is the volume of sand how do we get the mass of sand because once we are buying sand especially in Kenya we buy it in lorries and one lorry it shall uh, you shall be told there is a lorry for 9 tons, there is a lorry for 12 tons, we shall buy another one for 20 tons. So, how do you know how many tons you require? Tons is kilograms converted to tons. Kilograms is mass. Mass is equal to density times volume. We have the volume of, of sand. We multiply by the density of sand, which is 1920. So, once you multiply, you'll get the total mass of sand. So to convert it to tons, it shall be this one in kilograms divided by a thousand. So it shall be 2.9 tons. Okay? So that will be the quantity of cement and sand when you are doing plastering in a building. 
all right so if you want to know the quantity of cement and sand in your own building you'll just have to calculate the total area of walls then you will follow the procedure so you after you get the total area of the walls you shall multiply by the difference of the plaster after finding that you will add 20 percent for filling joints and depressions after that you'll get the dry volume of all the mortar after finding the dry volume you'll have to come and find the volume of cement you multiply by the density of cement to get the total mass of cement you divide by 50 kgs per bag to get then how many bags for the sand you'll take the dry volume of sand then you multiply by uh, the density of sand then you'll get the mass of sand to get the number of tons is the mass in kilograms you divide by a thousand. So I hope that is a, has been an interesting class. It's so interesting to know that now you can be able to calculate for yourselves the uh, the mass of how many bags of cement for plaster, how many uh, tons of sand for plaster. I hope that is easy. Wow. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, kindly do subscribe to our channel so that you can be able to continue teaching you how to estimate the quantity of materials in buildings. By the end of these lectures, you'll be able to calculate for yourselves the quantity of materials you require. In our next lecture, we want to know how, what is the quantity of cement, quantity of sand, and the quantity of ballast that we require for concrete sink okay so we want to be able to know once we are doing the slabs for example the ground floor slab the first floor slab the lintels the beams mm -hmm. what is the quantity of cement what is the quantity of sand what is the quantity of ballast that you shall require to know so that you can be able to estimate for yourselves and just call uh, the distributor of these things and tell them to bring to site Okay, without even going to the phone because they will not give you a very accurate figure like you can calculate for yourselves after attending this class. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel and uh, share our videos, like them, and we shall be grateful. So thanks a lot. See you in the next video.